remember. We take place now, back another day at Hogwarts. You wake up. It's been around a week or so since you've settled in. You've been training, reading, but can't quite get a grasp on any of your spells. And you haven't really learned any, any ones yet with your wand. You've been mainly t focusing on alchemy and- I thought he taught me Liviosa. Did you pass, like successfully pass it? Did you get it to your spell list? Uh, I don't know. No. I don't think you told me to do it. Yeah. I don't think you fully learned it yet. What is Smelliomus? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, that's what you learned with the wand. Yeah, you had me learn stuff, yeah, and then you... you had me do another thing. That's right. You didn't learn Liviosa. You learned Smelliomus. So you wake up and you get ready for your classroom. Of course, you wake up next to uh, the house goblin who's meant to keep an eye on you, Slobby. You still hear the rats under the bed. I'm drooling and I'm snoring. Oh, yeah, you are. Uh, Mikhail reads his book that he brought to bed. Uh, you... you are too groggy this morning to start reading this early. You figured that uh, you might need to get some bricky in you. Some breakfast. Some nice, delicious <laughs> slobby food to really get the day started right. And... Mikhail pokes slobby with his staff. Uh, your slough is not long enough to poke Okay, I people. get up and I <laughs> poke slobby <laughs> with his staff. You do that. He, kinda, he rolls to the side and then kind of rolls off. <laughs> he uh, grabs his staff and then he pokes him. You do that. Slobby, you're getting poked. I do my best to ignore it. <laughs> Roll wisdom. Yeah. Mikhail, you feel something like touch the back of your feet. <laughs> you, you 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 try to just ignore it and sleep, and you like you'd like turn over, uh, to like ignore it, but you turn over to where Mar uh, Mikhail is, and he accidentally jabs you right in the eye with the staff. Oh, it bolts Ouch. you right awake. The pain just sears in immediately. The web page froze when I rolled that too. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail, you feel something start to lick at the bo the, the back of your feet from under the bed. Slobby, I think your pet rats are back. Uh, like, Mikhail's gonna bring his feet back up above the bed. I'm in pain, rubbing my eye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. And you do. And I'm like, what does it matter? I start just like, I get up on the bed, but I just stand on the bed. Yeah, you do that. You stand on the bed. I kind of notice the rats underneath. Uh, rule perception. <laughs> In his rules, I remember sloppy against. You realize <laughs> that that's not a rat under the bed. The assumption, because you've never seen it, from what you've he been hearing sounds, was that it was a rat, but you can clearly see it now that Moroner put his feet up. It's not a rat, it's a cat. I exclaimed to Mariner, that's not a rat, you fool. Ah, okay, good. Well. well, since you're up, why don't you make us breakfast? <laughs> I just kind of glare. Also, how did you... What? What is this Mikhail you speak of? Alright, his name not is uh, Sauron in this, because he doesn't remember his name, I forgot. Okay. Sauron. <laughs> you white wizard, you. Uh, breakfast will be served in the main hall as per usual. You don't get shit in bed, you know. Maybe we could make a deal. What's that? Uh, well, you assist me, and I will do stuff for you. 
room. Me being here has already given you a bed. Yeah. I've also had to do more work because of you. How you had to do more? You've no, essentially just been told to follow me around. Yeah. Usually I just be doing my own thing. <laughs> You know, eating rats and clipping my toenails. <laughs> now I'm starting to attend classes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you just use those as ways to eat. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Did you sign up for anything? Well, a long, long time ago, and I turn away, there's like a dramatic <laughs> shot through a, a window. <laughs> oh. Gave that life up. What life? Like a violin plays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. And I, Does Mikhail hear the violins? Uh, I, I grab my clothes out of my chest. <laughs> you do. You do that. And I, and I put them on and I stomp out the room. You do that. You leave the room. <laughs> Am I awake enough to read yet? No, you still need breakfast. Mikhail's not hungry. Mikhail, uh, Mikhail is hungry. Mikhail needs his 6 a.m. porridge. Just like all old people do. Oatmeal. You need your oatmeal. Whatever old people need. No, <laughs> but you're, you're, you're hungry. What do old people need? Prune juice. Mm. Prune juice sounds good. Mikhail, I guess he, it's time to get up. He gets up and uh, gets dressed and heads down to the cafeteria, he guesses. Oh. He brings his book with him so he could read it. Oh, yeah. Getting the risk of getting it dirty. Nice. I have pretty presentation. Covered in porridge prune juice. Slobby also heads to the kitchen. Oh, yeah, you... You guys, uh, do that. Oh, let's see if I remember which one is the kitchen. Uh, it's the main hall. It's the lunch bus class. Yeah. Michaela, you sit down on your usual spot. Uh, and Slava, you go in the kitchen as Argus is, uh, asleep on his chair stool. Miss Norris is, like, licking his fingers. But he seems to be just completely passed out. A bottle of uh, really cheap wine is next to his hand. I want to pet the kitty. Oh, yeah. Roll animal handling. <laughs> oh, man. That cat, like, jumps on your head and just, like, lays down and purrs. While I'm doing that, I, I, uh, I, uh, leave the wine. Okay. Put Mr. Norris down, and I look over the uh, table for anything for breakfast. Oh, there's some some eggs, some waffles, pancakes. You can make. Uh, you could probably make some bacon. Uh, there's some hard hard meat. Jesus. I want to make waffles and bacon and syrup. Ooh, yeah, okay. Uh, what kind of waffles? Like like waffles from scratch, or like the kind you take blueberry from, waffles, or like that you take it from frozen and just like plop it in. Frozen. <laughs> Let go my ego. All right, yes. you take the frozen ones out. Uh, of course. They may have been frosted once or twice. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, of course, you know a little bit of house goblin waffle. magic, uh, so you can cast your little little uh, house goblin magic. Splimity to uh, just heat it up a bit and it looks you know edible you make some waffles you, you heat up the bacon the frozen bacon and you pour that syrup on it it's not That's real maple syrup bacon. it's that like fake maple syrup you know the, the store bought kind but uh, you know it'll do it doesn't taste that bad you think it will do is Mikhail just allowed to hang out in the kitchen He's, he feels weird with all the kids <laughs> 
Uh, it seems like the kids aren't really paying attention to you, except Malfoy, who, like, gives you glances every now and then, because he's kind of mad that you beat him at the potion thing yesterday. Uh, Weasley kind of, like, looks at you with, like, excited eyes still every now and then, but, like, really, he's focusing on his friends. Uh, you don't really speak up or draw attention to yourself with, uh, normally, so it's not like most people are, uh, really giving you, paying you much attention. They're mostly just eating, like, normal and going about their days acting as if you don't exist. So they're kind of, like, avoiding you. Alright, that works. Alright, Sloppy, you have the food. What you gonna do? I'm gonna put it all on a big, uh, roller tray, or I'm gonna magically have it float behind me. I haven't decided. Oh, yeah, you do that. Whichever I actually can do. And yeah. then, uh, I go and I get ready to serve it. Oh, yeah. To these little children. As you walk in, like, all the children look at you with excitement. Can excited. you hear that? No. There's a dog talking to me. I might need to let her out real quick. Alright. <laughs> Two seconds. Sorry about that. She had to go outside. I are back. Alright. Uh, yeah, so as you walk in, like, all the kids look at you with excited eyes, ready for their morning meal. Everyone looks so, uh, hungry and, ooh, wow. They're just so ready for the food. Neville speak right. speaks up. Ooh, I've been so hungry I could eat a cow. Alright, as uh, the floating plates are levitating, they gradually go to each uh, student, and then uh, as one's getting close to Neville Longbottom, it just pops on the on the seat in front. He, <laughs> uh... Face down, and there's dirt all over his he... pants. <laughs> he gets really sad, <laughs> and you know, he picks up his plate, uh... And like lifts it up and realizes it's a spill everywhere and it's all over his pants. And he just like flips the plate over and he kind of walks up to you and he goes, Uh, please, Mr. Slobby, can I have another plate? Uh, mine seems to have, uh, been dropped from your magic. You got another two pence? These lunches aren't free, you little lover. You little rubbish eater. No, no, sir, I don't have any, any pence. I take his plate. He <laughs> I go over to the the uh the vent. Yeah. And I kinda spoon the rest of the syrup that was there onto the <laughs> Yeah. And then, uh, I head back over here. And I just come over here real quick. Yeah. And I just return and I give him a, a plate of syrup. He looks at you really <laughs> sad and takes the plate. It's like thank you. Thank That's you. all we had left, lad. Get it in, yeah. You needed to die it anyway, Mr. Longbottom. He sits down really sad and, like, sco scoops up a bit of the syrup and just eats it with a sad look on his face. And then he kind of gets up and goes back to his quarters because he has to change his pants. <laughs> and Kale, you're a... Uh, it's a pretty okay meal. Kale eats, and uh, when he's done, he starts reading. Uh, roll a d50. managed to read 47 pages during breakfast before the <laughs> bell signifies uh, the start of alchemy class. Potions. Mm-hmm. Potions. Ding, 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 ding. I will put you guys... That's right, you had me try to read... You had me roll a D1000, and I rolled 979 <laughs> for the pages. And it's only a 1,000-page book. And you can add 47 to that. Ah. Uh. I'm only at 
96 out of 1,000. All right. Well, you, you didn't let me use it. You're like, that's too high. Hey, hey, we're in potions class again. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets in their seats. Of course, you guys are just getting there now. I enter the room. Oh, yeah, you do that. And I tap dance my way over this seat. Oh, uh, roll performance to see how good your tap dancing is. It's pretty average. No, most of the students don't really pay you any attention, but you feel like you did a great job. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> uh, all right, Mikhail. Okay, you went and took your seat. All right. Let's put you I did. Uh, Snape says, quiet down, children. I am Alan Rickman. I am Alan Rickman. Rickman. All right, quiet down, children. Today, we will be learning how to make a brief potion this potion is not used for combat or defense. This potion is used for entertainment purposes only. I do not like teaching magic for entertainment, but it is in the curriculum, so I must. The potion we are be making is the potion of basic fireworks. Does anyone here know what a firework is? Mikhail raises his hand slightly, like his staff. He looks at you, and he like, kind of like, does anyone else know what a firework is? Uh, obviously you're really old, so he thinks, of course you'd know it, let's see if the children <laughs> know it. Um, I've also spent time in the Muggle world, so it makes sense. Not that Mikhail knows that's what it's called. Ron raises, put up, Ron raises his hand. Oh, do you raise your hand too, Slobby? I put up one on finger. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to know which finger? The index. I'm just like, he's Snape, very calm. Like... Snape looks at you, <laughs> and he like, he kind of just doesn't know what to do. So he he's about to point at Ron, but then he's like, is there something you'd like to say? Slobby. Fireworks. Big, big bada boom. <laughs> right. <laughs> the class kind of like chuckles, and some of them try to hide it. Malfoy gives you a disgusted look, like, how dare you interrupt the teacher? Uh, he then calls on Ron, and Ron's like, my brothers like to play with fireworks. They're like these tiny explosions that make pretty colors. And he's like, Yes. Today we will be learning a simple one that will just create sparks. You can use this potion to turn basically any item into a sparkler for a short period of time. So class, you have your apothecaries in front of you, your portable ones. This spell doesn't take many ingredients, but the stirring and boiling process is where it gets tricky. Pay attention, children. First, you take your bottle of flames, your bottle of smoke, and then you make sure you have just an ounce of candle wax. Now, first, you add the smoke into the boiling water in the apothecary. Then you cover that up for a couple seconds. Then you add the drop of candle wax. And finally, you put the fire in. Now, you have to make sure you boil it for exactly 20 seconds. No more, no less. But, at the 12 second mark exactly, you must rapidly stir for 3 seconds. So there is five seconds left to boil. Did everyone get that? Any questions, uh, children? Mikhail kind of raises his hand really quick. Mikhail, or uh, Saruman, what is it? Uh, what is your uh, question? So it was boil for 20, boil for 20 stir seconds. for three, 
So boil for 20 seconds only. But at the 10 second mark, you quickly stir uh. it. Uh, no, sorry. At the 12 second mark, you quickly stir it for three seconds and then leave it uh, for five more. So it will, you're boiling for 20, you stir when it gets to the 12 second for three seconds. So you'll have five seconds left of the 20 and then it is done. If you mess that up, there 42. is a chance the 59. bottle will sparkle in your face. It won't be that dangerous, but it will give you a minor shock, basically. For lack of a better term, you will might have a bit of a sizzle. We will be testing your knowledge in this. We will be seeing how much, how you can create from these basic instructions, but first a demonstration. And so he gets it. He puts in the bottle of smoke into his apothecary. Then he adds the drop of candle wax. And then he adds the fire. He lets it boil for 10 sec uh, 12 seconds first, stirs it for three, and then lets it boil the other five. And then he quickly takes it off, fills the remaining stuff in a bottle, and he goes, now this is what you should have. Slobby, would you like to bring an object up for me, or would you like to be the dummy itself? And he kind of has a smirk on his face when he says that. I grab uh, Neville's little hat. Uh, you do, uh, Neville like looks at you really sad, like he's got a new pair of pants on that aren't the academy pants because he got his dirty, and he's like, no, don't use my hat. <laughs> I had it to Snape. Sna Snape takes the hat and looks at you and then looks at Neville and then just like all right then and he like doesn't he just doesn't care he just is out of it he like dips a, like the potion onto the hat and you can see like the hat start to like glow for a bit and then the hat turns into a spark or the top of it starts letting out little sparks and he holds it up and you can see sparks just go from the top of the hat just for a couple seconds and they dim down and then they die and he goes that is the potion of sparklers children basic a basic firework now let us see how well you can do I don't expect anyone to perfect it but I do expect you all to be able to do it before the end of this class period. Those of you who do manage to ace it, I will give a free lesson extra during this weekend. The lesson will contain two hours of private study with a book of my choosing. Ah, check that out. <laughs> what? Yes, sloppy. Bow, check a wow wow. Indeed. You may <laughs> begin, <laughs> class. Back on him. Yeah, you put uh, the, the hat that stopped being sparks on a uh, Neville. There's a little hole in the top where the sparkle is burned, but he kind of like <laughs> holds it and looks really sad. And I, and I pat him and really like really big shit eating grin. <laughs> he kind of t cries a bit. He like tears run down his face. I walk back over to my station. You do that. Uh, all right, and uh, Mikhail, you can start trying now. Everyone else tries. Uh, Mikhail follows the instructions he was given. Which are? I know you wrote them down, but you gotta uh, see them. Yeah. So it's from the notes. So uh, he takes his three ingredients. He brings the uh, cauldron to a boil. Mm -hmm. He adds his bottle of smoke. Mm -hmm. to the water. He covers for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Then the drop of candle wax. Mm -hmm. He then adds the bottle of fire. He boils for exactly 12 seconds, stirs rapidly for three, waits his remaining five seconds, and then removes it from the uh, the boil. Alright, can you roll me an arcana? And then we will add five to that roll. Okay. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, all right, and I will do the rolls for the rest of the surgeon. So there's, uh, we'll just do 60, 20. All right, so they pretty much do averagely. Neville, of course, not Neville, uh, Malfoy, of course, gets his own little roll. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Malfoy gets his, so the other guys get their own rolls. So now it's Neville's turn. Yeah, figures. Oh, uh, I thought you were gonna make him the three that was rolled. <laughs> uh, Ron Weasley. Oh, <laughs> oh, that makes sense, I guess. His family. Uh, D twenty plus five for Hermione and Harry Potter. Harry Potter. All right. So it seems like everyone did pretty averagely. Malfoy like, gets cocky and doesn't quite time it, so his is messed up. Neville, of course, is so saddened by the fact that he's just getting picked on by Slobby so much that he can't quite grasp it. Uh, Ronald, using his, you know, knowledge from his brothers to do this, he just fucking aces it. Uh, but Michaela, you do a, a stellar job yourself. You you feel like... Is Slobby, is Slobby not making one? Uh, I don't, do, are, you, are you Slobby? Are you gonna take someone's apothecary and start making it yourself? <laughs> I made some very poor notes, but I'm going to go buy the notes. All right. A bottle of flams, bottle of smoke, just an ounce of candle wax, add smoke into a boiling water, cover it up, add a drop of candle wax, bottle of flames, 12 seconds, start to stir for three, 20 seconds totes. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> can you just roll a base arcana check for me? And we'll add uh, one after the roll. I mean, the last time he was asked to make a potion, he just made Seven. cheese soup. You, you dump all the <laughs> ingredients in at once, <laughs> and just let it boil for 12 seconds and stir it, and then you think you're done, and you make it just as good as Malfoy, uh, but not good. It, yeah, you 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 pretty much get your just like Malfoy, you kind of get sizzled in the face. It doesn't do any damage. It just you know sizzles a bit. You were never taught. Robbie is pleased. <laughs> you were never taught in potions, so it's understandable. Uh, Sarman, you, yeah, you make a stellar job. You, you, pretty sure you have it. The bottle's filled up. Of course, now it's time to test it. Do you have an item you wish to test it on? Uh, he grabs one of like the random, either uh, quills or spoons sitting on the table. Or you could just use your wand, but yeah, uh, you take a, a, rent a spoon on the table and you dump the potion on it. It starts to glow for a bit before from the top of the spoon where the handle is just starts leaking fire like sparks a bit it's really fancy and it does that for a few seconds and it dies down so Every everyone nods in satisfaction everyone you know gets theirs done and the bell starts to ring for class to be over it's been a while Saruman nods his head and he goes it looks like Ronald Weasley gets the extra class God damn it. But I got 30! You did, but it's a nat 20. I don't want to look for anything on the table I can steal. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, roll perception. Yeah, so it looks like some of the students, like one of the students right next to you, uh, left their jewelry, like their one of their fancy golden necklaces on the table, and uh, they don't realize it yet. While a particularly interesting fireworks is being demonstrated, I want to grab... Roll sleight of hand. Oh, yeah, uh, and I'll just roll perception for them. Ooh, re-roll. Re-roll uh, your sleight of hand, and I'll have to re-roll the perception. Yeah. They, 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 they don't notice you grab it at first, but as you start to pull it away, they turn to look at you, and they go, Oh! Thank you for reminding me. And they take it, thinking that you were, like, shaking it to remind them that uh, they left it there. And they, they pat your head, and they go, Thank you, Slobby. I do my patented shit-eating grin. <laughs> uh, the one on your picture. Exactly. <laughs> super, super happy. <laughs> you can tell how happy I am. Uh-oh. Uh, and class is over. You have... Now, um, your Ravenclaw classroom now to go to, Marona. Yay! And you go there, uh, it's not called Ravenclaw classroom, I think it's just called classroom. Oh, 
Mikhail's sad that he didn't get freaking extras. It is not this room. Can't beat the Weasley boy. Apparently not. Mischief managed. 30 apparently doesn't even tie. I saw them in these It's the, it's the, it's the oh, fact that you got to crit. That's it. What are these guys doing in Ravenclaw? This oh. isn't Ravenclaw. This is just a classroom. Like, it's just a Ravenclaw teacher. That's what I meant. I fucked up. Uh, I thought McGonagall was Gryffindor. It might be. I'm not sure anymore. It's been <laughs> months since we watched Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, Harry you get Potter. to the classroom. Uh, take your seats, children. Take your seats. I can't do her voice. It's kind of like this. Um, <laughs> children. She's a British lady. I know, but she also talks high and then goes low. Uh... At least Alan Rickman has a weird way of speaking that I can try to emulate. All right, children. Oh, you're nailing it. <laughs> Serious. Uh, today we will be learning some basic spells, and at the end of the day, after dinner, we will be going down to try to cast those spells. Isn't Doesn't that sound quite fun? Oh, the children kind of get excited. Now... I'm not supposed to be teaching you this, but since it seems like, oh, how do you say that, queerness, Professor Quirrell, I'm not going to say his name, because that's, Cornelius, is, that's not Corn Cornelius Quill, that is not Corn, Corn is that really Cornelius? C O R N E L I U S. <laughs> no, C Q U I. R I N U S. All right, say that again real slow. I have no idea Sorry. who that is. Q U I R I N U S. That is the. This is the. Uh, the um, black arts teacher, Defense Against the Dark Arts, in the first movie. The one with Voldemort in the back of his head. Just call him Jackass. So Professor Quirrell is absent today. New. No, I don't know how he talks. I haven't seen the first one in a long time. No, I am not. He stutters. No, no, no I am not, Professor Gonagall. Uh, uh, sorry, I was late. I had some stuff to do. And he turns to look at uh, Harry Potter and then looks away quickly. Anyway, uh, since you are, are already here, uh, how about um, you uh, uh, teach them the spells uh, to use in, in, in defense, and I will be the, the one to... Um, to uh, uh, show them how to actually cast them later today. W well, I'm sure that's fine, but of course I will be reporting your behavior and tardiness to Dumbledore. Well, that that that, that uh, you don't you don't have to do uh, do, do that, but um, all, all right. He, but he knows already. Anyway, she is uh, the teacher of transfiguration. And he like turns to look at Mr. Potter one more time. I'll I'll be there later, and he walks out. But before he does that, he looks at Slobby, and gives a really <laughs> nasty look, as if like he knows, like, like something about Slobby is like really disgusting. Yeah, I I just hiss at him like, like Slobby, a cat. Can you roll perception? Slobby, something seems really off about uh, Professor Coral, and you've noticed it. Like, you can't tell what it is, but something just bothers you about Professor Quirrell and it's been, you've been feeling that way ever since you became a house elf for uh, Mr. Filch and I kind of look over to Hermione Granger and I point to Quill and be like you know he's lost his hair that's why he wears a turban <laughs> she kind of chuckles and then tries to focus on her work <laughs> uh, uh, and he leaves alright children today we will be learning the basic spell Flame Ionis Yes. Flamionis. This is a basic spell you can use with your wand to give a shite, uh, shite. To give a slate. Not spark. Spark is lightning. To give a slight tinge to anything you point at. It is a very basic spell, but I think you will all be able to do it. So, please open your textbooks to page 
275. Oh, Mikhail, you have your textbook, obviously. I open it to page 275. You do that. Everyone else opens their page. Now, if you read the instructions, this is a very simple spell, and because of such, you do not need to wave your wand or do any really strenuous or intricate movements. You just need to point and yell the words Flamionis. And once you do, if you exert enough magical energy, it should, in turn, work. Uh, there is a chance the thing you have will have enough matter surrounding it to counteract the spell. It is a very basic spell, so it doesn't work all the time, and of course, matter sometimes defeats it. But it is what it is. So, if you would like, I will give you each 15 minutes well, not each of you, but I will give the class in its entirety 15 minutes to read over this section and see if you can get a basic grasp on it. After that, we will be studying like normal. Uh. All right. Uh, and she, like, goes to do her own work while everyone starts to read the book. Slobby, you have taken an old textbook, uh, because you, uh, Want to learn as well, or maybe you just <laughs> get up and walk around. Oh, I point at Neville. <laughs> you do that. I say Flaviotis. Uh, you, do you have a, a wand on you? No. Uh, can you roll uh, Arcana with disadvantage, uh, and then minus three to that? Four I'm gonna use Tide to Chaos to make that an advantage. Uh, all right. Uh, minus three would be seventeen. Uh, all right. Um, and so I will roll his save then. Ten. All right. Uh, well, uh, you light a little bit of his hair on fire instantly. Uh, it burns for a little bit and then fizzles out. Neville quickly grabs the back of his head and turns to look at you. Ouch! And I giggle like a schoolgirl and I run and hide behind my desk. McGonagall looks and goes, <laughs> Well, children... It seems like the house elf likes to play games with the students. So, how would you all like a demonstration of how an advanced version <laughs> of this spell looks on a real target? Oh, the class kind of like gets really excited. Megano's like, Mr. Slobby, if you wouldn't mind standing in front of me real quick. I like nervously get up and <laughs> reluctantly march. She I stand with my arms at my side. You do that. She turns to look at the students. Now, class, if you want to learn how... If you would like to know how an advanced magic user, such as myself, can perform spells, just know that we, not only do we not even need movements for some of the most basic spells, we don't even need to say their verbal components. Now, watch as I test a higher version of this spell on... Slobby, and she just casually points her wand at you, and you just ignite in flames. Uh, you feel no pain, and you, like, look down and notice, like, she also cast a mini shield on you, because she's not a cruel person. And she, like, gestures to the class. Now you see, class, at any point, I could remove this small shield on him and let him burn. Isn't that neat? If you train hard, perhaps one day you will get to the level of magic I have. And she puts down her wand and you, like, the flames go away and the shield dissipates. And then she looks at you and goes, Mr. Sloppy, I hope you learned a lesson about using and abusing magic in my classroom. I didn't hurt the little one. I was just showing him how it's done. Neville looks at, looks at you and goes, You lit my hair on fire! Well, I was just, you know, it looks better now. <laughs> and I kind of... Roll of deception. I... Uh, he is small, Moroni. Is he small? Yeah. I'm a small boy. Oh, and I also forgot. I sh Does wild magic count if I'm 
doing these little Hogwarts these Ooh, they do. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> roll a d20. Rolling one d20. Alright, you're fine. Roll a uh, deception again, because you tied, so we have to... 16. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. What do you know? Another time. 9. 23. Uh, Neville looks at you and goes, You, you really think so? My grin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and nope. then I head, and I just back away. Now what kind of like smiles to himself and goes back to doing his work. Uh, all right. Uh, everyone is going to try to study up on the spell. Mikhail, can you roll an Arcana check? Uh, you can add two afterwards. Uh. All right. Yeah. No, you got a basic understanding of it. Uh, and we'll, we'll, just we'll, basic? Well, you can't. Yeah, you're not gonna master it without being able to cast it. You're practicing the casting later. Wait, you think you could Mikhail, just... Mikhail <laughs> notes that he's gonna have to work on wandless casting, especially since he's seen it. Uh, it's possible from being such a slobby. Yes. Uh. Well, you also got to keep in mind, he has cast magic on his own. He just hasn't been able to grasp it yet, so he is going to try to add it to his repertoire. Uh, Professor McGonagall uh, then finishes up and goes, All right, now we will be going on today's normal curriculum. If you would open your classroom textbooks, the other textbooks, to page 10, we will be going over sections 1, 2, 3, and 4 today. Usually, this will take about a week to finish, so I do not expect anyone to finish even Unit 1 today. But we will see how far you guys get, and at the end of all four units, we will be doing a test. Or a group project. I forgot what it was called. Still cannot remember. But, yes. So we will begin reading. You may begin whenever. And uh, all the children start to uh, read their units. Mikhail, uh, you open up a different book, I assume, the different the classroom textbook, and uh, open to page 10 and get ready to go through the unit. Yep. All right. He is ready to go through the unit. So there are four units. Uh, roll a D400. Uh, Slobby, <laughs> can you roll a d400 if you're going through this textbook as well? <laughs> uh, <laughs> before the class uh, ring, as the class's bell rings to signify the end of today's classes, Mikhail, you've read just about almost until the e uh, end of the middle of a Unit 3, which, of course, she said she might, might take a week to do. Uh, you have weekends off, obviously, and today is a Friday, but you've done pretty well. Of course, you have to leave this textbook behind. You can't take it. It's classroom material. Uh, Slavi. Are you noting this, or do I also need to note this? You should note this, because I'm going to forget it. Uh, Slavi somehow managed to, is, is to sit long enough to actually read and reads m just about more than yeah more than half of unit two, uh, and he's done some pretty good work on it actually. I he's... took one of them pills the college kids are on. Percocet. Adderall. Oh, Adderall. It's a real focus, like. Oh yeah. Which chapter did I get through? Uh, the over half of unit two, chapter two. And I'm at the end of chapter three? Uh, the middle. Uh, three and a half, so yeah, like the middle of chapter, of chapter four. Yeah. Uh, all right, and the classroom is over. Everyone gets ready to leave, and Professor Quirtle comes back in, and he goes, All right, children, 
change of plans. It seems like we will be practicing before dinner, as I actually have to um, to do something later. And he looks at Harry Potter. And if you all wouldn't mind following me. Uh, all right. And so. get up from my desk. Oh yeah, you do that. Go over to where he was mm -hmm. and attempt to grab the long end of his turban. Full sleight of hand. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Reroll it. 20. He looks at you and like points his wand at you in instinctively with his his right hand. No. Yeah, I'm looking. With his right hand in the air. And he looks at you and he goes, Don't touch the turban. And you see, like, the stutter of his is gone. But then he quickly goes back to his, like, meek form. And he goes, Oh, wow, oh, so, so, sorry. Uh, I, I'm just not used to uh, someone trying to do that. Please, if you wouldn't mind, I uh, don't like that. Now, if you would all just... Not the hair, oh, huh? My baldness is not your, not, not your concern. You're bald too. Yeah, I was just about to say, just accept it. And I kind of uh, do that thing where, I'm like, ha, 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 I breathe into my hand and I polish up my <laughs> ball. Uh, you do that, yes. Uh, and then I just kind of gesture towards the kids, like, chop, chop. I clap my hands and then gesture towards the door. You do that, and so and the kids um go on their way. Uh, all right. Let's put them there. And you guys are here. Uh, and you guys make it down to where the testing is going to happen. All right. Uh, Professor Coral says, "All right, everyone, pick a room or team up with somebody." Of course, I will. I, I will team up with who doesn't have a partner. <laughs> Mikhail's just gonna stand there. He he's not one to necessarily team up with anyone. He looks around the room. He'll just take his own room, I guess. He looks and he like, why am I stuck with the old one? <laughs> he's such a molester. All right. Uh. So he gives the room a brief lecture on uh, the spell. He goes over what you already learned. Just make sure you all learn it. And he's like, now we will practice on these these dummies. Everyone, as your room, you I want you to take out your wands. Oh, and everyone takes out their wands. Kale takes out his wand. Mm -hmm. Slobby, you don't have a wand, so you just stand there. <laughs> uh, <Draco looks laughs> I just raise my hands up like counting a night. I don't know what to do with my hands. Draco, <laughs> Draco looks at you and he goes, "Ugh!" And he like hands you like a spare training wand. Here. Car, car, car ran fine. You can use this. Don't embarrass me. Is this room like its own little sh section off thing? Yeah. Is this got its own light source? Yeah. All right, continue. Uh, and Crow's like, "Now, watch, wa watch me." And he points at the, the oh. doll. Flamiomus! And uh, it ignites the doll a little bit. It sizzles it. And then it fades away after a bit. See? Now, you try, students. Uh, Neville first tries. He goes, I got this. I got this. Flamiomus! Uh, and it <laughs> just instantly fails. And Ron's like, oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Neville. It can happen to everyone. Let's see if I can do it. And he does it with Neville's support. He's like, come on, Neville. And he also goes to <laughs> Harry Potter is like, Look at me, Hermione. I'm sure I could do it. I'm the hero. <laughs> he can't do it. Hermione's like, No, 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 Harry. You gotta do it's it. It's not like flamey on us. It's flamey on us. Flamey on us. And you gotta do it like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> and she, like, instantly does it. 
and then like jumps up like and does a little clap on her hands like those girls and goes ha ha I did it uh, Draco looks at you slobby and he goes watch how a master does his magic and he casts it on the thing oh it's pretty good as it like sizzles a thing now you try slobby I uh, aggressively point my wand at the thing and then I want to douse the lights and then try to steal whatever's in Malfoy's pocket. <laughs> Uh, uh, alright, yeah, uh, let's see if he notices you casting Douse the Lakes. Roll stealth. Oh, yeah, he doesn't notice you. He looks around as the lights go out and he goes, What? What happened to the lights? Uh, yeah, roll sleight of hand now to try to take whatever in his pocket. Oh my god. Uh, does he notice that? Uh, yes. He notices your hand in his pocket, and he looks at you, and he goes, "Oh, so you're 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 offering yourself up as a live target now?" And he like points the wand directly at your head, and he goes, "Flay me, <laughs> Uh, and it doesn't go. And he goes, and he like taps his wand. You just lucky. That was just a threat. I point. My one at him and go flay me own ass. <laughs> Roll uh, Arcana. Oh yeah. Uh, so he, what's your uh, spell save DC? I don't know. If you go to the spell books or the spell page for your character, it will say the top. Twelve. Twelve. All right. He has to make a save. He's fine. Uh, his the mass or matter around him, his force expels and it, uh, prevents it from working. He looks at you. Huh! So if it's a duel you want... He Wild takes... magic surge! You used that once already. Uh, Doesn't but you do... it happen any time I cast a spell? Oh, yeah. Once I thought you turn. meant... Yeah, I thought you meant the... Uh... Not the Tides of Chaos. Thought, yeah, so roll a regular d20. Oh, just... Just, just above. Close. He, like, takes a step back and points his wand at you. If it's a duel you want, it's a duel you get. Sloppy. It's still dark. More like sloppy. It is. I have dark vision. He does not, but he can still, you know, guess. It's with disadvantage, but he can still guess. And he points where he felt your hand in his pocket, and he goes, flaming. I creep in the shadows. Uh, so, oh my god, uh, he sparkles his own hand and goes, ow, and he drops his wand. And I kind of make my way over to the corner. You do that. And I slide around the wall, and then I just <laughs> give him a sweeping kick. <laughs> Roll, uh, dexterity. Just straight dexterity. Ooh. I want to re-roll that. All right. I just want to re-roll. Oh yeah, you you sweep his leg and he falls back onto his back and uh, goes ooh and it, like hits his head hard and he gets knocked out. And I go for his pocket. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so he he has a lot of gold in his pocket and it looks like a a ring of some sort. I take them. All the gold. Yes. You take and the ring. Uh, 30 gold pieces and a Malfoy signet ring. I'm gonna buy me some chocolate frogs. Uh, all right, uh, Professor Crow goes. All right, uh, Saruman, it is your uh, your 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 turn. Uh, just point and call out Flamionis. Uh, Saruman does so. He pulls out his wand. Enunciates and casts. Oh yeah, it works. It it like it, uh, sparks a bit, and he like claps his hands. Bravo, bravo. Uh, can you do it one more time? Uh, Sarwan nods, and again enunciates. Plus seven to seventeen still works. Nice, nice. And uh, after a while of testing, you guys start to hear a. Threat Squirrel's like, stay in the rooms, children. I will go see what this is. And he 
focuses his head out. And as he does, two swamp-like beings seem like they've came in through a hole somewhere. And he goes, Oh, dearie, I, I, I can't let the children see us. Hmm. And he pokes his head in. Sort of not one. supposed to talk to me here. Looks like you have a live target to practice on. Uh, we need you to eradicate these magical beings with your new spell. How wonderful. Is, is this even capable of damaging anything? Indeed, it is. If you say so. You must Oops. believe in the heart Saruman of Saruman steps out, but he is definitely doubtful. And he pokes his head and he sees Malfoy unconscious. And he looks at you, Slobby. <laughs> what? I just kind of like shrug. He <laughs> tripped. <laughs> he he goes, go, go help Saruman. I kind of skip as I jingle in my pockets. Yeah, he's going to check on Malfoy. All right. Uh, initiative. Uh, Saruman and Slobby. Right. I do my dude. Uh, so, Mikhail, it's your turn. Mikhail's very doubtful, but he's going to go ahead and uh, point his wand at the guy and, and yell, Slay me, Onus! <laughs> I do not have an inspiration card! <laughs> oh my god, you, you do that and you feel like your hands start to um sizzle. Can you roll a con save, please? To Try to hold, keep your wand held. Oh yeah, you're fine. Uh, is that it? Um, I think so. All right. The swamp-like being is called, and they walk up, and it uh, it tries to spear you. Push, push. One attack hits your leg for seven damage. Uh. Multi attack, and this one tries to stab Slobby. Push. <laughs> it stabbed. <laughs> it stabbed its own foot for four damage, uh, restraining itself uh, for now. <laughs> Slobby, it's your turn. Am I allowed to do bonus actions first? Yeah. Hmm. What are these creatures? They're like swamp creatures. Yeah, like fish things fish things. Okay. I, uh, get up into this one's face that's, uh, right in front of me, and I burp in his face, but it's really just in infestation. Alright. Uh, you're gonna roll, uh, roll in wild magic. Uh, because you use Tides of Chaos, so I can do that. Uh, can you roll a D100? 30. You teleport up to 60 feet to an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see. You teleport to the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. And you burp in his face for infestation. Uh. All right. Con save. It passes. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as my bonus action, I'm gonna try and hide. Uh, roll stealth. With then roll escape. Fuck, I'm gonna re-roll <laughs> that. Uh, Alright. 14. Oh, they see Probably you. doesn't work anyway. <laughs> they see you. Uh, Mikhail. Well, Mikhail is gonna try that again. Alright. Flamey on us! Ooh, yeah. Uh, what's your spell save, DC? My spell save DC is... 16. Oh, yeah. It takes 13 fire damage and kind of just, like, incinerates into a cooked fish, basically. Alright, that's uh, it for his turn. Uh, this one looks like it tries to pull the spear out of itself. Uh, did that roll? Oh, it, it does not. Uh, it is still restrained. Slotted. 
Um, let's you, see. You have a uh, uh, tides again because I made you roll. Right. That one's dead. Fifteen feet. I'm just gonna burp in this one's direction again with the infestation. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, a con save again. He passes. I'm just gonna keep burping at it. Uh, all right, Mikhail. Lay me on us. Oh, you cast it. All right. What is that your DC again? Sixteen. Oh yeah, it ignites, and it becomes a cooked fish. Combat is over, and you feel like you have a solid grasp on Flamionis. I immediately eat the fish I just cooked. Oh, yeah, you will. Flamionis, uh, vacation. Flamey own ass. <laughs> I'm just writing in the... spell... Coral comes out uh, with Malcoy on his uh, Malfoy on his shoulders, uh, pretty uh, injured, like knocked out. And he goes, "Oh, you managed to to uh, defeat them. It looks like together, right?" Uh, I have a question. Out of it or in of? Out of what? Uh, why is Flamionis VSM? Because you need the wand. Okay. V is in verbal, Flamionis. S because you still have to point, and M because you. Need oh, to okay. Because I was gonna say in the training you said that there was no. Right. There's no, no like intricate waving. movements, but you still got to point okay. the wand. Uh. Got it. Uh, did you? I assume you work together, right? Um, sure. Let's go with that. I'm grinning. Well. Fish in my teeth. Fish bones. Uh, he, Koro, looks at uh, Saruman in, like, Slobby, roll perception. Mikhail, you roll perception too, but with disadvantage. Alright, then. Slobby, you, you feel like, as Coral's looking at uh, Saruman, like, he he, like he, the smile he has is not one of like a teacher or proud. It's more like a sinister smile. Like he's like he just realized something or he's plotting something. Uh, and Quirrell goes, Saruman, I am very pr pr proud that you are uh, were able to ascertain the spell so so quickly. I I have a a gift for you. Uh, I was supposed to hand this out to uh, the one who most exemplified 
the spellcraft, and why certainly it looks like you are the one who has done that. So, if you wouldn't mind approaching me, because I can't, walking with Malfoy on my back is kind of hard. I interject myself and be like, I know where he sleeps, I'll take it to his chest. I'm afraid I, I cannot let you handle it, elf. I look over at Big Nose Harrowman. <laughs> Big Nose. I shrug. I uh, get behind Quill. I want to try and grab his turban again. Uh, roll sleight of hand. Alright. He catches you and once again thrusts his wand at you. And he goes, oh, you need to stop doing that. One of these times I'm actually going to end up hurting you. I just glare at him. Glitter. Wait, how is he holding Malfoy if he's... Malfoy's on his shoulders. Oh, okay. Like on his back kind of thing where he's... Uh, all right. Piggyback. Uh, uh, approach, uh, Saruman, so I can hand you the rule, this rule. Uh, and he pulls out like a like a little sealed scroll and he hands it to you. And he goes, you may study this on your free time. This is a... more buffed up version of 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 uh, Flamionis. Mikael nods. Great. I will read this tonight. Mm -hmm. He nods and he goes. Class will be over in a little bit. He loves bit. to read. Class will be over in a little bit. Uh, Mikael does love to read. But now it will be <laughs> self study until class is over, as I must get Draco to the infirmary. It's so creepy. He just goes away with the unconscious. <laughs> he wasn't the one who right back, yeah. children. Uh, all right, and uh, you guys have the remainder of class to uh, self-study. What are you guys gonna do? <clears throat> Mikhail's gonna read then. All right, you gonna go in your room and read? Yes. <clears throat> all right. Can you roll a base Arcana check? I can. Did go through? Yeah, yeah. I did. Go. You pretty much read over the contents of this. This is a more buffed up version of Flamionis, a higher level spell. Uh, if this one requires you to first point at the target and then raise your wand over your head at a diagonal angle and spin it over your head once and then point once more and yell. Uh, Instantaneous Flamionis. Okay. <laughs> I am not good at naming things like that. Uh, uh, Flamionis Maxima. It's not. Uh... Instantaneous in Incineratus. <laughs> I was just thinking that it was. I the only reason I laughed was the fact that you essentially take Flam Flamionis, which is the base level. Which is actually instantaneous, and then made the higher level version <laughs> supposedly called instantaneous, but it actually takes probably another two seconds to cast. But the effect is instantaneous on a bigger scale. Mm. Ah, got it. Uh, and it seems like once you do this, uh, the entire target will basically be ca caught on fire. Uh, and do I know any water spells? No. I need one. This is like the f second spell you got besides smelly onus. <laughs> Which is a crap spell. Yeah, you're just starting out. This is year one. <laughs> Mikhail's like a hundred years old. That doesn't matter. You're still taking this. They were teaching. They were making flowers levitate. <laughs> Not flowers, feathers. Yeah. Are there any books in this room I can read? And I didn't get that practically. Sucks. Get what? Yeah, not yet. You're getting, but you got this. I mean, fucking. No, it's good. It's be good. appreciative. Goddamn. I'm being appreciative. Now you can go and practice the spell. All right, Mikhail goes and practices the spell. All right, how do you do that? 
Um, does he still have access to the training room? Yes. Then he goes down to the training room. Well, yeah, obviously. And then goes to the target. Mm-hmm. And he takes his wand. Yep. So he points at the target. Mm-hmm. Then lifts it above his head. Mm-hmm. 90 degree angle. Swings around his head. Turns it back to onto the target. Mm-hmm. And yells, Instantaneous Flamionis! Roll Arcana. Oh yeah, the target just incinerates. And he does that a couple more times till he like. <laughs> so what? The target gun is gone. It burned down. <laughs> he goes to the room that Slobby isn't using anymore. No, this is my dummy. I say. <laughs> Why are you still here? I've put a wig on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, you do that. And I'm just like I'm like hiding it behind me. I'm like, go away. This is my room. <laughs> Shoe. Is one of the corpses still here? Uh, yes. He uses it as a target. I did eat. You want to burn the fish now? Oh uh, yeah. You I mean, I'll it. trade you the target dummy for the fish. No, I'm gonna practice stabbing on this one. <laughs> 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 I, I I practice on this one as well. Do I roll? Uh, I'm adding the spell to your thing right now. Oh, okay, awesome. Well, if I feel like I have it down, then I don't need to, but I, my guy would just practice right, until he felt like it was... Uh, yeah. I'm just going to add it first, and I'm going to do it later. Ooh, this one's actually going to spell book, or a spell. Fancy. I'm going to go get my dog real quick. All right. try it on another time but now you can try it with the spell he is this actually going to use a spell slot it will so I can only practice it like a couple times a day um, Because at my current level, I have two level spells. You will get three. Here, 
Harry Potter spells slots for now. So no uh, warlock spells. I'm just we'll have three. It won't take a warlock spell slots. It'll take Harry Potter spell slots. Okay, we'll work that out later. Okay, I uh, cast instantaneous glamoriosis. Does that not say what it takes? Uh, what? So the casting time on this is a full round. Like a... Not just an action. What's that mean? It means it takes an action and a bonus action to cast it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, but still movement? No, or you can no? still move. You can still move. Uh, it does 2d12 fire damage initially. And then every round they don't put the fire out, they take an additional d12 for damage. Mm. Nice. That's very nice. Hmm? That's very nice. I felt like that was enough of a little drawback. To I mean, for a level one spell, that's huge. So that's great. But it takes a full bonus action in action. Yeah. I'm, you know, and realistically, <laughs> there's so many. Um, sick. That was a sneeze. So yeah. many. Um, you know, so many classes don't even use their bonus actions. Warlocks don't use it very often. So, uh, there. Uh, what are you doing, Sweet. Slobby, while we go to you? Are there any books in this room? Uh, yes, there. there's a book on how to make, uh, how to make a, a wand into a shiv. <laughs> it looks like it was, uh, written by a former student because it doesn't look like an official book I grabbed my new friend and we got I got like my arm around and I kind of like, I like pointed the book and be like I'm gonna read and you're gonna watch me read it to me read, watch it watch me read it to you uh, the new friend is the mannequin right or the dummy yeah uh, the dummy looks at you uh, and in your head you hear all right I read the book and I start to look at this practice one and I'm just like, oh, you just make a point. Roll a d100. Oh, yeah, you, you read about a little under half the book and uh, the time you have remaining for class. And uh, you feel like, uh, yeah, you could probably make the wand into a shiv. You just don't know what, it, what that does exactly uh, to the wand afterwards. I try to smuggle the book in my pants. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, you're gonna have to roll if anyone looks at you or like tries to investigate. But yeah, you do that. Uh, what you doing with your buddy? Uh, I just kind of like, I take my dagger that I have in my inventory, not the. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like doing like this weird fetishization of like running it up and down his cheek, like you know, I don't know how I got these scars. <laughs> You want to know why I have so many cars? And, uh... Oh, and as you do that, Professor Coral walks in at that moment and notices you, like, dragging a knife across the dummy's cheek. And he just, uh, steps back out. Don't you know that Mars needs mom? <laughs> there are moms on Mars. Uh, <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> And he goes to each student and tells them, like, class is over, it's time to go. And all the kids, you know, get ready to uh, go eat dinner and go to bed. Alright. Malfoy is still in the infirmary. It seems like he hit his head pretty hard. Yeah, that slippery cobble. Alright. I will move you guys to the cafeteria once more. Super, super slippery. Malfoy is unfortunately injured right now. Uh, Mikhail, you go and sit. Sloppy, I think you go to back to the kitchen. Filch is now awake. He is there cutting cheese as uh, Mrs. Norris can like roams around. Where have you been, Sloppy? Where do you think? I've been watching the new men. You make, <laughs> make, make dinner. What's for dinner? Cheese? Mm. 
<laughs> he loves his cheese. Cheese you, and cheese. Well, you he's cutting it. Mac and cheese. I uh, look around for some noodles and oh, water. You, you see lasagna noodles. Ooh, oh, I dear. love noodles. With cheese? I... Why it not? Doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? I guess not. I mean, heck, if you take lasagna noodles, put cheese on it, and then wrap it tight, you essentially make a manicotti. I have no idea what that is, but okay. It's Maybe a stuffed speak noodle. Speaking English. Uh, all right. <laughs> Yeah. It's good shit. Because uh, of what it is. So, Slobby, you're going to start cooking that? Uh, I'm going to start cooking that. Roll a d50. Just a random number. And let's see how well you do. Hmm, not bad. It's, it's average. It's a little better than average. Yeah, you cook it well. It comes out looking all right. And uh, you're sure it tastes all right. You're not sure that you're not fully sure you haven't tasted it yourself. The blue box blues. Uh, um, what? Minecraft. Oh. It's a commercial back in the day. You weren't alive. <laughs> you were alive, but you weren't cool enough to remember. Okay. <laughs> Ghost is like, get the food to the children. What about me? I'm just kind of like strutting. As, as, you, Mama. as you start to walk away, as you pass Miss Norris, Miss Norris jumps in the bowl of food. And I just kind of like, I pick her up by the scruff of her neck, or like the back of her neck. Yeah, she goes, meow. I set her down, just let her walk away with cheese on her feet. <laughs> she does, and then she like like tracks cheese over, she starts licking her paws. Uh, as you look into the bowl, it's now got, like, cat hair in it, and, uh... I specifically put it to one side. Uh, you, <laughs> yeah, you do that. I know who's gonna get that. I just heard something. Okay. Maybe it was the neighbor. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, right. was it like a ting noise? No, no, it was like, uh... Bunch of stuff going into a garbage can. Oh, it was a neighbor. Maybe. Anyways, I serve the food to the students, reserving the cat hair for long bottom serving, and I'll be like, I made it extra special for you, kid. Oh, uh, he he looks at it. Wink. And looks at it has cat hair in it, and he looks at you, and he goes. Roll deception. Okay, yeah, roll deception. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh. He looks at you and he goes, "Why, you, why do you keep picking on me, Slobby?" <laughs> Don't worry. There's much more rough times ahead. He, this is gonna make you stronger. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting real, real, real sick of you, Slobby. Trust me, you're gonna need to eat up. And I start spoonfulling a mouth, uh, a mouthful. Uh, roll <laughs> strength. <laughs> I'm not very strong. Neither is he. Oh yeah, you <laughs> shove a fucking <laughs> spoonful right into his mouth. He like looks at you e and like he starts crying. Uh, e t e t, and I grin. Everyone looks at you and like they're not sure what the hell is going on. <laughs> uh, Sarmon, you eat your food and well, it tastes pretty good. All right, I'm happy with that. Right. Dinner runs over, and you all get ready for bed. You go back to your quarters. Mikael wants to read before bed. Well, you do that, but you're gonna do that in your fucking room. Uh, I don't remember what the room is. Is this the room? Yes. And you get into the room, and as you guys enter the room, you hear the the rustling of what Slobby said was a cat under your bed. It's Mikhail likes animals. He's going to say, here, here, kitty, or here, whatever you are. Out from the bed, you finally see what's been a 
guess, haunting you for the past day or so. What the fuck is that? Gross. That's what it is. Uh, is this what I wanted? It most certainly is. Uh... cat pokes its head out of the bed. Meow. Good evening, kitty. Meow. Anyways, Mikhail, Mikhail's gonna get ready to read, but he leaves enough room on the bed for the cat if he wants up. The cat uh, climbs up on the bed on the pillow and lays down and it goes meow uh Mikhail pets it uh the cat purrs meow I just kind of shake my head and underneath my breath I go fucking furries <laughs> the cat looks do at you, you know, slobby do you know this cat's name uh cat maybe the cat it looks it looks like a cat. Hmm. Do you have a name, Kitty? You may call me Charles. I guess that's acceptable. Meow. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Get out of my head, Charles. <laughs> Meow. Um, uh... I read my my shiv book. Yeah, roll a. Uh, uh, how many pages do you read? Uh, you said fifty last time. Right, you read was it twenty nine pages written? Yeah, you did. So, so yeah. roll a. Oh, twenty five. Is it twenty one? Yeah, roll a uh, d twenty one. Awesome. You read one page. <laughs> and, then I and then I pass a fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> His reading is hard. <laughs> My gal's gonna read. A wand into a shiv. Oh, uh, you're at thirty out of fifty pages. Uh, all right. <laughs> what a great book. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mikhail. Uh. What are you doing? It needs 50 pages to tell you. Well, because it, yes. it, gives, it goes over everything, like what happens to I'm the reading wand. the copyright. <laughs> Cable of contents. Uh, Mikhail, uh, roll uh, D1000 again. Read sixty eight more pages. I don't know what ninety six plus sixty eight is off the top of my head. Ninety six plus sixty eight is one hundred and four. No, that's not right. One hundred and sixty six. Yeah, one hundred sixty four. Do. You fall asleep as the cat kind of just goes meow. Meow. And that is where we'll end this session. Sounds like, good. Like I said, only about an hour. Uh, it was a little bit more than that, but yeah. Yeah, an hour and a half. Who's <laughs> coming? That's good. A fun little thing. Uh, you learned some spells. I did. Actually, something useful. The next time we meet, it will be a couple month time skip. Yep. yep. What, like from now? Yes. Well, it will be a it, it will be a um, few month time skip from now, but we'll play oh. sooner than that. Yeah, yeah. What I mean is, like in story, it'll a couple months will have passed by the uh, Okay. Play. 
make sure. You know, he might have you roll a couple times to see if you ever finish that 50-page book. <laughs> I'm enjoying this fucking book, and I will get to the end. <laughs> it's, it's a book on how to, not just like, oh, you got a shepherd, but it's also telling you the intricacies of what, what happens to the, the wand after that and what you could use it for. And in fact, the one page I read in the evening was a recommendation for more books that I can make other things in the shit. <laughs> you read the recommendations page. The, the last, the, the last page, because I wanted the, to know the, how the it ended. The fucking about this author. Yeah, like buy more. There's more in this series. How to turn a lamp into a <laughs> ship. If, if you <laughs> like this, maybe you'll learn how to like turn cheese into a ship, or soap into a ship, or a ship to a ship. <laughs> uh, what about a kitchen knife to a ship? Where to hide the perfect ship? Nah, he needs the advanced stuff, like how to turn a rat into a ship, fish bones into a ship. How to how to shiv a ship. Or shank a shiv, whatever. <laughs> Shivs in you. Shivs in you. How can I tell which is the right shiv for me? <laughs> and of course, I don't... shiving fifty for fifty humans. <laughs> Does this work? Serving. I don't know. I'm trying to make a play on that old book that was like, you know, uh, how to serve 50 humans or whatever. You got to... How to shiv 50 humans. At the very end, there's a BuzzFeed article for a quiz. <laughs> Which shiv are you? What kind of shiv are you? <laughs> I'm a garlic shiv. Shivs? What do they say about your personality? <laughs> what? What is your ash... <laughs> astronomical signs say about your shiv. You can join the shiv of the month club and you'll get a magazine every month. <laughs> we'll send you high quality shiv for just $20 a month. Daily shiv club. The dollar shiv club. Uh, yeah, the dollar shiv club. The dollar <laughs> shiv club. There it is. They have the shit shower and shiv pack. <laughs> <laughs> you know that is the cool thing about goblin that like you know they mature in like a couple of months and they can just shit on a dagger and take out like a hundred you know, two hundred year old elf <laughs> what? they shit on a dagger and take out a two hundred year old elf yeah <laughs> just so crude I love it you're a house elf not a goblin I'm a goblin. Aren't you a goblin? I thought he was a goblin trying to be a house elf. He might I'm be. I'm a goblin. I don't remember. Who knows? Let's see what it says on your thing. Uh, no, let's not. You <laughs> are a goblin. Okay, I guess you are. <laughs> you know, he was a goblin that was bad at math and reading, so he became a house elf instead. <laughs> instead of working at Green Gods, he works at Hogwarts. I don't math good 